we are at the Talladega Super Speedway for the fourth race of Season 7 of the SCRL IROC Series. The number one car of Jonathan Reigns will lead us to the green flag. Start beside him is the number five of Kaka White Lion. Points leader Zachary Fitzwater will be starting last due to IROC rules, which states that the last race of the season is the point standings but inverted. So Jonathan Reigns, who is last in points, will start first and so forth. Entering this race, we have ten drivers that can mathematically win the championship. White Lion, who is starting second, is 28 points behind, mathematically eliminated. You can only get 26 points awarded in a race. And so is Jonathan Reigns, 30 behind. Zachary Fitzwater enters this race with an 8-point lead over Chuddle. Bulldogs 7 and 3rd, 9 points behind. Colin Jabber, 10 behind. Brian Fox, 12. Jack Legacy, 14. Al Legacy, 15. Leroy, 15 behind as well. Richard Torres, 18. And Draco is 20 points behind. Of course, Talladega Super Speedway, otherwise known as Alabama International Motor Speedway. This is the sixth time here in series history we are racing here at Talladega. Uh, it wasn't in Season 1. In Season 2, Big Jake won that race. Season 3, Draco, our Season 3 champion. Season 4, Truttle won that race. Season 5 was won by Colin Dryberg. And in the last season, season six, Sebastian Torres won that race. So Sebastian will not be here to win this race. Without any further ado, here's the most famous words in all motorsports for the fourth and final time here in season seven. Drivers, start your engines. The field is rolling off. As you see the names on the side of the cars, Draco. Whoa, AJ Jones already has, no, excuse me, Leroy Jones already has damage. Whoa, Brian Fox has a lot of damage as well. What the heck? Oh man, that must have been the glitch. You see the car on the inside, Leroy Jones has damage as well. A lot of damage to the front and back of the car. You see Kakawat Line has damage as well. And oh, Zachary Fitzwater, our points leader, has damage as well, you can see on the hood. Hopefully that won't affect anything, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Brian Fox will have to come to pit road, because look at the damage he has. Actually, the car in front of him has damage too, Al Legacy does. You can see on the rear spoiler. That's why I hate using new tracks sometimes. Nineteen laps is the distance for today's race. We'll see how that one lap behind will change different because every single race this season so far has been 20 laps today is 19 pace car will pull in there he goes Twelve drivers, ten battling for the championship. It's come down to the season finale here at Talladega. And there's a green flag. We're racing here at Talladega for the sixth time in series history. See Leroy, see Al Agassi going on the high side, trying to get a third lane going, but it's not going to work. Battle for second, Draco quickly takes it. Off of turn number two, down the back stretch. For the first time under green conditions. Battle for race position. Jonathan Ray is leading him off towards turn number three. Battle for second, here comes Richard Torres. Trying to go around Draco. Looks like he will complete the pass. 
Off of turn number four. And, oh, you see our two drivers, Leroy Jones and Brian Fox, who got damaged at the start of the race. For some reason, they stacked up on the try over. Jonathan Reigns will lead the first lap easily. We'll keep an eye on these two drivers. This will hurt both of them because they are both in championship contention. Leroy Jones 15 points behind. Brian Fox only 12 behind. And, oh, Fox is out. Leroy Jones' team is trying to repair the damage. Go back to racing. You see J Richard Torres has taken the race lead. Richard trying to win in honor of his brother, Sebastian, who is not here for this season. His name did not come up in the drawing, unfortunately. But we got a battle for the race lead. Here comes Colin Drabberg, our Daytona race winner, trying to sweep the super speedways. You see his name on the side of the car. I was able to get those names on the cars for accuracy. And Drabberg will lead the lap. So Drabberg has now led in both super speedway races. You see battle for positions. Halagasy trying to move up around the 9 of, let me excuse me, the 10 of Treadle. And you see we got a car that's trailing, that's Kaka White Lion, who got damaged at the start of the race as well when they stacked up for whatever reason. Three-way battle for second. Bulldog 67 trying to move his way up, trying to get his second win here in Season 7. He won at Myrtle Beach. And leading the lap will be Colin Dreiberg. Trying to pick up yet another win. You hear Leroy Jones' car up there. Of course, remember, Dryberg does have experience at this track. He won this race in Season 5, so using his past Talladega experiences. Here comes Jonathan Reigns on the inside, though, not giving up. Reigns is mathematically eliminated from the championship, but he's not giving up and trying to get his first career IROC Series win. Battle for the lead. This is going to be a drag race. It'll be... Driver that barely led that lap. Very impressive. As you see Richard Torres pushing Jonathan Reigns, you see the 7 way down there. Fitzwater now giving up on his chance to be in champion for the second time in his career. Won the SCRR Rainbow Dash Truck Series division for Season 3. Going to try and go four wide. Nope, Jacko pulled out. And you see there's Leroy Jones. He's going to slow up the high line, which will be Colin Dryberg, Bulldog 67, and Shuttle. And now he's blocking out Legacy. Okay, Leroy Jones needs to move out of the way. Be courteous to his fellow drivers. This is going to hurt Dryberg, Bulldog, and Shuttle. Of course, Leroy got damaged from the start of the race, like many other drivers did. Made a pit stop with Brian Fox. Fox's car was retired. And finally, Dryberg is able to get out from behind Leroy Jones. Battle for position. Here comes Shuttle trying to pass Jack Legacy. Of course, Shuttle is the SCRL's first ever champion back in the uh, NASCAR Legends Series. you got a battle for the race lead. Richard Torres. Driving in honor of his brother Sebastian, who won this race one season ago. Trying to win back-to-back -back races for the Torres family. Of course, we had a drawing of 19 drivers. Only 12 could race. Sebastian was not able to make the drawing. Richard Torres was. Three-way battle for third between Al Agassi, Draco, and Jonathan Reigns. And Fitzwater has made his way to second place.
trying to go for a championship. He has an eight-point lead over Chuttle. Three-way battle for fifth, I believe. They're able to make it off turn number four. You see White Lion still trailing the field on the upper part of your screen. Jack Legacy has lost the draft just a little bit as well. Off the trioval, Richard Torres will lead a lap in honor of his brother Sebastian. Al Legacy moves into second place, being pushed by Bulldog 67. And Colin Dropper. Al Legacy trying to go for the race lead, but here comes Bulldog 67 on the inside, inside. I said that twice, I know that was the whole joke. Three way battle into turn number three. Al Legacy just barely clipped Richard Torres right there on the driver's door, which will allow Bulldog 67 to take the race lead. Bulldog trying to go for his second win in four races. He won at Myrtle Beach when Jonathan Reigns, I think it was him, who jumped the start. Or was it Richard Torres? I can't remember. I don't have my stats right beside me. I apologize. Bulldog 67 led that out. So he has now led in two or three of the races we've done. Battle for the race lead. Here comes Colin Jaberg, who was stuck behind Leroy Jones earlier. Jaberg has fought his way back up to the race lead. Being pushed by Shuttle, of all people. Bulldogs. Long-time rival. So move Colin Jaberg back to the race lead. Let's see who has the fastest lap. That would be the 12 car. Bulldog 67, ironically enough. 51.962 miles per hour, almost a eh, little less than a second over the closest car. Jabberg leads another lap, complete lap number nine. You got nine laps to go this time by. We've already had one championship driver get eliminated. That was Brian Fox. He didn't even complete a single lap. He made it to the trial, but it will still count as not completing the lap. So we still got nine drivers that can mathematically win the championship. Off the turn number four to the trioval. Jaberg blocks Treadle. And Dryberg will lead yet another lap. Nine to go. Of course, I want to mention if a caution does come out uh, in the last three or four laps, this race will be over. No green white checkers here in the IROC series. Battle for the race lead. Here comes Shuttle. Made his return at Daytona after serving a four month suspension for failure to comment on races. Trying to return to his glory days of winning races. He is the all-time active race winner with 27 career wins, which is three more than White Lion, who has 25. Of course, you know you got you to get three wins to beat, beat him, so that's why I said three. Treadle leads the lap. Here comes Jonathan Reigns. Mathematically eliminated from the championship. Trying to go just for uh, honor, I guess you could say. Try and pick up his first career IROC Series win. Jonathan Reigns blocks the high lane. Now he goes down to block the low lane. Blocking the me medium lane. But here comes Richard Torres on the inside, being pushed by Fitzwater and Al Agassi. Fitzwater made a peak, but Richard Torres blocks him, keeping Fitzwater in line. It'll be a drag race off of the trioval. Leading this lap will be... I don't even want to call that. Jonathan Reigns, it says, led that lap. 
You see Draco making that three wide between Al Legacy, Colin Dryberg, and himself. That'll be for fifth. Jonathan Reigns gets away a little bit on the outside, on the back stretch, but Reigns is not giving up. Side by side by side by triple side. Laps are winding down here in season seven. Richard Torres fighting for the honor of his family. Try and make them win back-to-back Talladega races. Jonathan Reigns looking for his first IROC Series win. And leading this lap will be Richard Torres. By the slimmest of margins. Remember, the closest margin in IROC Series history is 22 tenths of a second. At this very track. Where Colin Dryberg won, ironically enough. Still side by side between Jonathan Reigns and Richard Torres. We got a pack of nine cars battling for the race win. And also for the championship. You see Draco on the low inside lane trying to gain as many spots as he can. Draco, the former champion here in this series, season three. We are fighting for season seven. And we do know what series we will be returning to next. Uh, our champion Tony Newman made their pick for the series we do. And that series will be announced after we finish this race and go to the point standings. Of course, the reward for winning a championship, your driver will get to pick what series we return to next. Remember, you can go any series except for the series we just completed and the series before that, so we can have different varieties. Still side by side for the race lead, Jonathan Reigns and Richard Torres are just dominating this field. As we will complete lap number 15, Richard Torres led that lap. We got four laps to go. Richard Torres with a run. Being pushed by Fitzwater. Jonathan Reigns being pushed by Chuddle. Down the back stretch. And we are just about to catch Leroy Jones, who's in turn four. And a turn number three. And a turn number four, still up. Oh, I must go in four wide, but Bulldog decided not to, which is a good move. We have completed 15 laps without a caution. We actually haven't had a caution this season, aside from Daytona, where he had a big crash. Reigns pulls ahead just a little bit. Jonathan Reigns will not lead that lap. It'll be Richard Torres. Still three wide between Draco, Al Legacy, and Dryberg. But also, he's having to try to make it four wide as he enter turn number two down the back stretch. Reigns being pushed by Shuttle. Richard Torres being pushed by Fitzwater. Oh, there they go. There they go. Bulldog hard into the outside wall. Oh, gets hit by a legacy, and that will end the race. Caution is out. We are drag racing it back to the start finish line. Reigns being pushed by Fitzwater. Reigns. And it's a drag race. It'll be Jonathan Reigns by the slimmest of margins. And unfortunately, that will end the race. There are no green white checkers here in the IROC series. A disappointing way to end Season 7. We'll take a look at the big wreck. Here's the cause of the caution. After going three or four laps, three wide between Al Lagasse, Draco, and Dryberg. You see Al Lagasse and Draco make the slightest contact right there. They slide up the track into Colin Dryberg. Dryberg comes down across the track into Draco, who takes out Bulldog 67, and Jack Lagasse. You see Bulldog 
losing control, and he's going to pancake the outside wall. Yeah, and here comes Al, and he nails Bulldog. And he goes for a spin. That could have been worse with uh, Draco and Jack Lagos getting involved, but they was able to keep on driving. And our season will end under caution. Go on board with Bulldog. Actually, let's go on board with Jack Legacy. You see his brother gets involved, and then Draco will come across the track into Jack, who takes out Bulldog. And poor Bulldog spins out and nails the outside while pretty hard on the driver's side. That's never good. And then here comes Al and Wham. And that is the cause of the caution. So since this race will end under caution, we'll go ahead and take a look at the race back to the line. You see Richard Torres and Jonathan Reigns, they were still battling all the way up to the tri-oval. Richard Torres has the momentum, but coming to the line, Richard, I mean, Jonathan Reigns get a push from Truddle. And that was the margin. That would have been the margin of victory, but the race will end under caution. And Jonathan Reigns just has to ride around for the next two laps, and he will score his first IROC Series win. Take you to your results. Here are your race results. Jonathan Reigns scores the win. Second, Richard Torres. Third, Shuttle. Fourth, Zachary Fitzwater, our championship points leader. Fifth, Draco. Sixth, I mean, yeah, fifth, Jack Legacy. Sixth, Draco. Seventh, Colin Dryberg. Eight, well, 67. Ninth, Kaka Whiteline. And tenth was our Legacy. Leroy Jones, one lap down. Brian Fox out of the race. Not even able to complete uh, one lap. Well, that is it for Season 7 of the IROC Series. We will take you to Victory Lane with Jonathan Reigns for the first time in IROC Series history, and we will see who our Season 7 champion is. Here are your points standings after the fourth and final race of Season 7 of the SCR IROC Series. It is official, Zachary Fitzwater is our Season 7 champion. He won the championship by six points over Chuttle. Fitzwater had one win, three top fives, and four top tens. Chuttle had no wins, two top fives, and four top tens. Richard Torres jumped up six spots in the last race. Finishing third, no wins. He had two top fives and three top tens. He was 11 points behind. Fourth, Colin Dryberg, one win on the season. Technically, he finishes third because he had a win compared to Richard Torres, so Colin Dryberg finishes third. One win, it was his only top five, and he had four top ten finishes. Fifth, Bulldog 67, one win at Myrtle Beach. That was his only top five, and he had four top ten finishes. Sixth, Jack Legacy, no wins, three top fives, and four top tens. Seventh, Jonathan Reigns. One win, that was the season finale at Talladega. It was his only top five, and he had one more top ten, completing two on the season. Eighth, Brian Fox didn't even complete the last uh, race at Talladega. He didn't even complete a single lap. No top, no wins, three top fives and three top tens. Ninth, Al Legacy, no wins, two top fives and four top tens. Tenth, Thraco, no wins, one top five and three top tens. Eleventh, Leroy Jones, no wins. One top five and two top tens. And finishing last, Kaka White Line, no wins, no top fives, and only three top ten finishes. Now we go to our statistics. Starts are all the same. Most wins, everybody with one. Bulldog 67, Colin Dreber, Jonathan Reigns, and Zach Fitzwater. Most top fives, three for Brian Fox, three Jack Legacy, and three for Zach Fitzwater. Two for Al Legacy, and two for Richard Torres. Most top tens, Al Legacy, Bulldog 67, Colin Dreiber, Jack Legacy, and total with four. Poles, we skip poles because we don't do poles. Most laps completed, Kekka White Line, Colin Dreiber, Jack Legacy, Chuttle, and our champion, Zachary Fitzwater, all 79. 
Most laps led, Bulldogs 67 with 21, Colin Jabberg, Shuttle, and Jackie Fitzwater with 9, John Hunter Ains with 7. Most miles completed, Kaka Whiteline, Colin Jabberg, Jack Legacy, Shuttle, and Fitzwater all with 151. The general stats, the fastest, race number 3 at Michigan, 201.026 miles per hour, won by Fitzwater. Our slowest was Myrtle Beach, 96.187 by Bulldogs 67. Our biggest margin of victory was Talladega, even though it ended under caution. The closest... Daytona. That's the post, slowest post, same thing because we don't do qualifying. Most lead changes, Talladega with 11. Most leaders, Daytona with 6. Most yellows, Talladega, 1. Most cars running, Michigan, uh, 12. Most DNFs, Daytona with 3. That completes Season 7 of the SCR IROC Series. We will next see you at the next season, which will be the SCRL Tim Hortons Canadian Series. First time in two years we are doing that series, and until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.